It can't be said enough that the internet doesn't forget. Ryan Warwa is running for the Conservatives in Vancouver East. He has been a prolific blogger with some pointed opinions and salty language. In 2004, for example, he wrote about Keith Martin, an Alliance member turned Liberal MP, and he said Keith Martin will be at home with other Liberal political whores in Esquimalt. He called Scott Bryson a political prostitute and even a conservative. Peter McKay a pipsqueak and then he said his integrity and honesty did not meet his litmus test. Warwa also favored decriminalizing marijuana and prostitution. Now on the day he announced his candidacy his blog was restricted. His posts though still show up in cached or archived sites on the internet. It was a liberal-leaning blogger who first dug up this story. I, I don't have any particular problems with his policies. That's not my concern. My concern is the, the conservative attitude that cover-up is better than openness. The sitting member of parliament, Libby Davies, had this to say. What, you know, silly, foolish, offensive comments to make. We tried to contact Warwa. There has been no response. The Conservative campaign, though, told us that he will remain a candidate, that he has changed his views and is fully in line with Conservative Party platforms now. Greg Elmer is with Ryerson University's Infoscape Lab. The parties have largely gone on trust when they vetted their candidates. They asked them a series of questions and they're looking for honest answers. And I guess now bloggers and citizens are having their, uh, their, their go at that question as well. It used to be that utterances on the campaign trail could derail a candidate. Increasingly, though, it's their internet legacy trailing them. And it's not limited to one party over another. Susan Ormiston, CBC News.